So I'm going to ask you a question. So who here wears any type of makeup? Raise your hand. Okay, cool. Who here like like washes their face with like any type of cleansing products? All right, who take vitamins? All right, cool. So a lot of these products are being tested on animals. Why? Because they have to be approved so we can, can like use them so they're safe for us. So the main product that I'm going to be talking about is makeup because that's the product that I use the most on a daily basis. So some of the makeup products that are, some of the makeup companies that use this method to um, get their products FDA approved is NARS, <coughs> one of my faves, MAC, also one of my faves, Maybelline, which somewhere around there, um, Clinique, and Benefit. Those are the main ones. Okay, makeup has been around for so many years and people have been using it since the first dynasty of Egypt. So since we all those eyeliner looks, all those makeup colors, they're obviously not made how we're making them today, but it's been around for a, a while. Makeup today, um, in, to in 2020, the total global cosmetic sales was four, 43, $438 billion. All these makeup pro products, like I said, have to be approved. So they're going to be tested on these type of animals. <clears throat> so that leaves the question, why are these products, why are these products have to be tested on animals? Is there any way that we can know that these products are safe for us instead of using this method? To understand this, I'm going to like going a little going to be going to be going a little bit in detail, depending on the animal that is testing that we're testing on. The methods are varied. According to the Cruelty Free International, guinea pigs are shaved before they're smothered with cosmetic compounds to see if there are any allergic reactions. On the other hand, rats are forced to eat inhale active cosmetic ingredients. These products are rubbed onto their skin for up to three months. Pregnant rats go through some testing process, process and, they, and they are euthanized with their unborn babies after 21 days. Rabbits also go through this process, but they are forced to go through this at least 21, 28, and 28 up to 90 days. <clears throat> so these are some examples of what are the damages can look like and it's really upsetting as someone that uses makeup every day I wasn't completely aware of like how much damage this is causing <clears throat> so what does cruelty free mean there are certain companies that claim to be cruelty free but there are some cases that that can't be completely true cruelty free products have a small logo or a company picture or a bunny picture that let the customer know that the, cus the, the product is cruelty free. This, is, this was founded by the Leap, Leaping Bunny program. According to the US Food and Drug Administrations, no legal defin definitions for either of those terms, cruelty free, not tested animals, are like, re are like registered. So like, Basically, what that means that you, a company, can say they their com their products are cruelty free because in their facility they're not testing on animals. But in but with those products, those products have been tested on animals previously to approve that they can be used on other products. If that makes sense. <clears throat> There are some companies that are completely cruelty free. Like one, like one I really like to use is Elf Cosmetics. Companies like Elf Cosmetics, they use different ways to test their products that include cell cultures, human tissue, computer models. Scientists can use, can make human or animal skin using cells cultures, making small 3D versions of human organs called organ chips. So that would it that could that is another way that cruelty free or any 
type of product can be tested and it's not going to harm anyone at the end of the day. And this is what like a 3D skin can look like. This is the model of the, <clears throat> the printer right there and that's kind of like it making it and like here is someone like testing on that type of skin. <clears throat> In different parts of the world, animal testing varies. In China, all products, like every single one, has to be animal tested. Um, in other countries, like Australia, Colombia, New Zealand, and some others, it's completely illegal. Here in America, it's almost like a choice. Um, if the company wants to go through that process, they can. And if they don't, if they have the money, because at the end of the day, it is least expensive to test on animals because it's a lot of money to get those type of 3D printers to get their products tested on. <clears throat> so why, so so if in some countries it's, it's completely illegal, in some countries it's like completely like you have to do it, why is it like an, an option? So human society says animal testing is pointless. When determining the safety of cosmetics, <clears throat> Different species respond in different ways when exposed to chemicals. The FDA insists upon the process for testing cosmetics compounds. This does not necessarily mean animal testing, uh, but every cosmetic company has the duty to make sure their products are safe. And realistically, the cheapest way, like I said, is animal testing. Animal testing has been around for many years and it's probably not going to go away and it's also unavoidable, I think. I'm taking, I'm talking about this just because it's every medication, every that is, sorry, is most likely to be tested on animals. I wasn't aware about how bad the issue is and 20 million animals die annually due to animal testing. As someone who loves makeup and skin, I choose this topic to educate myself in something I already enjoy. It has made me more aware <clears throat> and I'll try to buy more cruelty-free products because I wouldn't want these animals to suffer at my expense. Thank you. Thank you.